use the harbor and let everyone know there's more to this existence than what you can boast about online. Get better, I can hear the ships, but I can't find them. You think they're using a cloaking device? Brother, we were surrounded. Things started heating up. I called in an airstrike. I called in the airstrike. The planes came, man. Listen, Ollie, the planes came. And no one was there. No one. Just planes. Boom, boom. How's it going there, you old loon? I'm having myself a wonderful fucking day. They'll kill you. With kindness or with bullets. They'll kill you any way you can. That's why you must have a weapon. You must be armed. Every sane man must be armed. Every insane man must be armed. It's the only thing that ensures your safety. I'm motherfucking safe. When you're in the bush and you're scared out of your motherfucking mind, be grateful that the defense cuts left you with bullshit instead of bullets. Pow pow! You're dead. Bro, who just got you in the head? Well, that's what happened to Smithy! What would you do in the bush? Well, I'd stick a knife in my teeth, I'd crawl through the razor grass till I found me a load of enemy combatants. Then I'd slit their fucking throats for freedom. Pull the villain straight out of their fucking mouths! Well, this is war, brother. And it's everywhere. War. Beauty. War <laughs> is truth. War made me this way. So fuck all of you. Fuck you all. I did it for you. I did it for you and you don't give a fuck about me! War crimes? War crimes? What's a fucking war crime? Losing! That's the only crime! That's the only crime! That... and not dying. We should have carpet bombed the entire fucking world and turned it into a parking lot! Then we'd be safe. Pow, pow, pow! Gotcha! You gotta take cover! Take cover! They're everywhere! War is hell. But here ain't much better. This is hell. So is this war? Is this war? Let me tell all you motherfuckers. I wouldn't be in a foxhole with none of you assholes. Not no fucking chance. Because when Charlie comes, you're gonna need more than a weak grass enema and a sunny outlook. You're gonna need a fucking big fucking gun. This country used to be for men. 
I cradled men breathing their last breath up a fucking unknown hill, and none of you give a fuck. Well, fuck you! When you're deep in the bush, you better learn how to dig deep and fast. Motherfuckers, when Charlie comes, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty. I killed for you, assholes. Killed for you. And look at me. Look what it did to me. Charlie's coming back, motherfuckers. He never even left. He never even left. He's everywhere. And he's coming back. You know how they spend your precious tax dollars? On keeping the officers looking good. Not on weapons. Not on bullets. Not on field dressings. They left us up on that ridge without any bullets. We was killed like rats. Well, at least you ain't kill no one. But you was happy to have motherfuckers like me do it in your name. So you'd have enough oil to keep your motherfucking hot tubs heated. We were on a ridge. Brother, we were surrounded. Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. No more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Yeah, that's it. Give him hell. Shoot another one. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. Dude, what now? We're gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Ain't see your beauty? Drives like a dream. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. If you keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. 
Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good plain old fashioned fun. Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. If you're having trouble, try aiming a little in the front. That's it, beauty! And again, Trevor. I never knew you were... Such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. What? That was some damn fine shooting, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. See him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Two for one! You're even saving on bullets now. Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Hellfire! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that 
My organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn axe. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. This Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 <laughs> the O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem. Since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other, fuck you guys, and fuck them! <laughs> ah! uh, this music's all fucking wrong! That's what I'm looking for! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, Bella! You wanna discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, cause I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! Mm. Oh, oh, you are going to die! I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse.
You smoked, but you ain't touching this lab. Well, look at this. Here we go. See what's left when I'm done. I'm gonna burn it to the ground. Disrespectful pricks! You are handsome. No mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, is one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file.
I'll have to keep an eye out for you. Coming with me! No, no, stay away from me! I surrender! Surrender! Don't hurt! Oh, good, good! Now heal! And no begging! Come on, pal, don't do this. Just, just let me turn myself in, please. No can do. I'm a dedicated servant of justice, my friend. Count yourself lucky I haven't trust you in duct tape and thrown you in the trunk. Although now I've said it out loud, I kind of like the idea. Please, they're saying I could get five years. Five years! Whoa, whoa, hang on, remind me. What did you do again? You're giving off a sex criminal vibe. What? No! They're just trying to charge me with check fraud, money laundering, workers' compensation fraud. It's crazy. It was just a few payroll taxes, for Christ's sake. Okay, I'm listening now. You had me at money laundering. What's your play? It isn't really a play. We create a shell company, take out a minimal workers' comp insurance policy, then charge subcontractors a fee to use that company as a dummy paper trail for their undocumented workers. I'm just a middleman, really. Whoa, 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 I take it all back. You are officially the most boring criminal alive. Nah, no, jail's the place for you for sure. For the learning experience alone. What were you doing skulking around that quarry like a common toad anyway? You actually wouldn't find a toad in the quarry. It's too dry. Whoa! Are you getting smart with me, admin criminal? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, ju I'm just really nervous. Question my questions again. I'll slit your throat and let you gurgle the answer. Am I making myself clear? Uh, one of the mining contractors I worked with said I could lie low there, okay? I've been sleeping in a bulldozer. You know, you're really not what I pictured. I've seen those bounty hunter shows on TV. I was expecting some washed up 80s pro wrestler type, but you're much, much scarier. Well, I was expecting someone much, much, much less of a pussy. I have to say, for my first bail jump, you're a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping serial killer, maybe international drug czar, but <laughs> I get the payroll bandit. That it. Why are we stopped? I say you get over here. How you been, Trevor? Boy, am I glad to see you. Look what you brought me. Your relentless sunny disposition, it always puts a pep in my step. I aim to please. Well, with the banter completed, I'll give you my thanks. And I'll send you another file for your inspection. Yes, it's coyote for dinner.
Get back here. You're not even hidden. Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in LS. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe. She threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I keep finding a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? <laughs> so, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? You check my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost has descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want if, well, send them on their way to begin with? I got you them bombs and that pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. What's wrong with you now? Don't be a bitch. You weren't so tough now, were ya? Oh, 
Hey man, fuck, fuck! You're oh, good oh. boy. This time we're gonna ice him. Rock this asshole. Now that that's over, let's get out of town. Los freaking Santos. Got go, okay? I heard lots of banging and screaming, but then not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? The house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor! Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be Wade! Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade! Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all! Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. What? Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr Tr uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. And he did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. The Trevor! Hey! Aw. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. You fucking this is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state.
So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Huh? It's been nearly ten years, oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Cousin Floyd gonna live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd's over in Vifuchi Beach. Will you tell me the story? About that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Mich Michelle. A lady troll? <sighs> he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her. Oh! Did you not fucking see me? And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. And maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Caps. I seen it on the iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Now keep going. Go straight on here. I turn right here. Just straight over this one. This is the place. I think it is at least. Whatever, dude. Floyd. Floyd. It's up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here! He's gonna smoke meth here! Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here! Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy would never prove. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. 